been, I can't believe, over 200 days in quarantine because we're in GCQ until end of the month. So, you know, during the past six, seven months, what have you been up to? And has your daily routine changed pre-pandemic to, you know, within pandemic now? Um, you know, Marga, um, what, what's very important is uh, keeping a routine, no? It's good that you ask this there because, uh, as you said, this is the longest quarantine period in the world. No other yes. country has had the 200-day quarantine. And this yeah. takes a toll on our, not only on our physical health, but also on our mental health. Yeah. And not only us, uh, especially the kids. The kids are so social, they need playmates, they need to be talking to other kids, and they're, they're, they end up on the computer, on their gadgets the whole day and never mind yeah. if it's one or two days but this is 200 days already so this is quite serious uh, and yeah. it's taking a toll on, on a lot of um, not only the adults mental and physical well-being but the kids as well um, if, I, if I were to give one tip on how to cope well because it's still ongoing is to, to keep um, a routine going a routine is very important lalo na when we were under ECQ when we were talagang confined inside the house mm -hmm. The routine kept me safe. It was something that I looked forward to hour by hour by hour and made the days much shorter. You know, building a stronger immune system and especially, you know, now that we're in the time of a pandemic and what tips can you give to people about, you know, just some quick tips about the, yeah. the immune system and how we should treat it. So, especially now that we have a pandemic, uh, number one would be sleep. Uh, sleep is very important. Um, ah. If there's one thing that the that, that quarantine gave me, it's longer hours of sleep because uh, there's less yeah. work. Eh? So at my age, I'm 53, I get at least seven hours of sleep a night. That's very important for the immune system. If I get less than that, it builds up and then eventually I will get a cold. And uh, when you're prone to colds, then you're also prone to COVID. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah. with seven hours, I'm good. And then second tip, to, to strengthen the immune system is exercise. Okay. Exercise is very important. But what kind of exercise? If you overdo yes. it, then it will, it's a double-edged sword. It will be bad for your immune system. Yes. You have to be just fit enough to be able to brisk walk, run five kilometers. Um, just feel fit and feel good. Yes. Make change uh, your relationship with your, with your family. Because like you said, you know, you started having sacred uh, lunches mm -hmm. and dinners with them. So, like, mm -hmm. did anything else change realization-wise? Um, the good things that the pandemic brought to me was I had a lot of uh, quality time with my kids, especially with Jose, because Jose left already. And um, yeah. when one studies abroad, they will eventually marry abroad and they will work abroad. And that was some goodbye na to my Jose. And yeah. This is my favorite because he's my number one kid and he's the only Aww. boy. And um, uh, when he left a month ago, that was a real goodbye. Yeah. Um, because he'll be coming home for vacation, but he's going to be working and uh, living in the States now after this. Yeah. And uh, I realized that uh, that's a design of parenting. Uh, we are supposed to be like bows. Yeah. And this is the third year we are, so we can we're able, we're able to shoot the arrow far, high, and as far as possible. And when the arrow just flies straight, we've done our job as parents.